Hello and welcome, dear friend. Today let's delve into the shadows of Japanese folklore and uncover 10 lesser known yet equally terrifying monsters lurking in the dark corners of Japanese imagination. From seductive spider women to shape shifting demons. Ready, set, go. Jorogomo. Known as the Entangling Bride, these supernatural arachnids inhabit various settings in Japan except for Hokkaido, typically measuring 2 to 3 centimeters but occasionally growing much larger. Some can capture small birds. Renowned for their size, vibrant colors and robust webs, Jorogomo are infamous for their cruel predation on young men. These spiders transform into yokai after reaching 400 years of age, exhibiting magical powers and shifting their diet from insects to human. They reside in caves, forests and abandoned townhouses, cunningly deceiving their prey. Often assuming the form of young alluring women, Jorogomo use promises or affection to lure unsuspecting men into their lairs where they're ensnared and never seen again. With strong silk threads and potent venom, Jorogomo ensures their victims suffer slow, excruciating deaths. Masters of deception, they can control lesser spiders, even employing fire-breathing arachnids to eliminate intruders. Operating discreetly for years, they accumulate countless skeletons of hapless young men in cities and beyond. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Nararihyon is often described as an old man with a gourd-shaped head, known for sneaking into people's homes and behaving as if he were the owner drinking their tea and causing general mischief. Nararihyon is a selective eater with a penchant for luxurious food. Nararihyon makes surprise visits to homes during busy evenings, arriving uninvited in his luxurious palanquin. He enters unnoticed and behaves as if he were the rightful master of the house, indulging in the family's luxuries. Remarkably, the homeowners often believe Nerarihion to be the rightful master of the house and bid him farewell respectfully as he departs, only growing suspicion after his departure. In some tales, he is considered the supreme commander of all yokai, leading the night parade of 100 demons. Tofukozo the little tofu boy is an urban art dwelling yokai with a diet favoring tofu. They resemble human children but stand out with large heads, clawed fingers and toes. Dressed in the attire of young tofu sellers from the Edo period, complete with kimonos and wide brim heads, they often sport two eyes but occasionally appear with just one. Timid and non-aggressive towards humans, Tofu Koza occasionally follow people home on rainy nights, but generally avoid confrontations. These yokai primarily serve other, more powerful yokai and endure teasing and bullying due to their lack of strength. He is more mischievous than malevolent, often appearing in stories as a simple, somewhat clueless figure. In some accounts, the tofu he carries may have a supernatural element, but traditionally tofu koza is not known for causing serious harm. Isa Ona These vampiric beings, native to Kyushu and western Japan, haunt rocky coastlines, preying on fishermen and travelers. They often appear as beautiful, alluring women drenched from sea with long, matted hair captivating eyes and nearly transparent wet clothes. While their upper halves resemble human women, their lower bodies appear blurry. She uses her beauty to lure men close and then reveal her true form, which includes a horrific, monstrous mouth to suck their blood or consume their flesh. They use their hair to ensnare victims, either on sandy beaches or rocky cliffs. 
Issa Ona's encounters often end tragically, with victims dragged into the sea or falling from cliffs to their deaths. They are most active during Obon and New Year's Eve, sometimes collaborating with Ushi Oni to capture prey. I'll take a brief pause here to remind you that if you're enjoying this captivating yokai stories, please take a moment to like and subscribe so we can continue bringing you more of these intriguing tales. Ushi Oni The Ox Demon a monstrous, sea-dwelling creature with attributes resembling an ox or bull, typically inhabiting coastal regions and waters. Ushi Oni exhibit cruelty and savagery, sharing a common penchant for breathing toxic poison and preying on humans. Some lurk near their lairs, ambushing intruders, while others actively hunt along the coasts, inflicting curses and diseases upon townsfolk. While a few may roam, Shikoku's mountains, most reside along the rocky shores of western Japan. As we know from the previous section, Ushi Oni are known to collaborate with other yokai, particularly the spider-like versions found in western Honshu. These partnerships often involve Nuri Ona and Iso Ona, siren-like yokai that lure unsuspecting men to the water's edge with their charms. When victims approach, the Ushi Oni strikes, delivering fatal bites with the spoils shared among the yokai. Yamachichi This yokai resembles monkeys with distinctive pointed mouths and sucking lips. They dwell deep in the mountains and venture to homes late at night. Their sinister behavior involves stealing the breasts of sleeping humans by sucking it from their mouths with their pointed lips. After extracting all of their victims' breasts, the Yamachichi taps the victim's chest and disappears into the night, causing the person to perish the following day. However, if caught in the act by a victim or a witness, the Yamachichi flees and the victim's lifespan is said to greatly increase. Yamaoba are the malevolent old hags and witches of Japan's mountains and forests, once human but corrupted into monstrous beings. While some may display horns or fangs, most often they masquerade as a kind ordinary old ladies, concealing their evil nature until they strike. These solitary creatures reside in huts by the roadside, offering weary travelers shelter, food and rest. However, late at night they reveal their true form, an ugly demonic witch, and attempt to capture and devour their unsuspecting guests often employing powerful magic. Tales of encounters with Yamauba have been passed down through generations, serving as cautionary bedtime stories to deter disobedient children with the warning, behave or Yamauba will come for you. Hihi. The Hihi is a formidable mountain-dwelling yokai, resembling a large monkey-like beast with long black hair and a distinctive wide mouth adorned with flapping lips. According to ancient tales, when a monkey reaches a ripe old age, it transforms into a hihi. These creatures are known for their remarkable speed, chasing and capturing wild animals like boars with the agility of birds of prey. Despite their terrifying appearance, their name comes from the distinctive sound of their laughter. <laughs> when a hihi encounters a human, it cannot resist bursting into laughter, covering its eyes with its curling lips. While their primary diet consists of wild beasts, hihi will not hesitate to prey on humans, especially women. To escape a hihi's gasp, one must make it laugh, blinding it temporarily and then strike it in the middle of the forehead with a sharp spike. Hihi are sometimes confused with the other mountain-dwelling monkey like yokai. 
Some accounts suggest that he, he possesses the ability to speak human words and read human thoughts, and their blood is highly valued for its vivid, unchanging red hue, believed to grant those who consume it the ability to see demons and spirits. Yama Arabi these tree-dwelling yokai, native to Shikoku, resemble bird-like creatures with oversized heads and mouths filled with sharp, pointed teeth. They excel at mimicry and are rarely seen but easily heard due to their love for shouting, mimicking any voices that come near their dwellings. Although they share similarities with other echo yokai, locals insist that they are distinct beings. Encounters deep in the mountains, Yama Orabi engage in shouting matches and anyone foolhardy enough to participate may meet an untimely demise believed to be lifted by ringing a cracked bell. In Fukuoka prefecture, mothers use Yama Orabi tales to coax children to sleep, warning that staying up late may summon the creatures. Kazan no Kami. The wind spirit is a formless, invisible, malevolent entity that rides on the wind. Although they lack a physical form, they often depicted in art as sickly, old, ape-like demons clad in ragged loin cloths. Kazan no Kami inflicts suffering on humans by controlling the wind and spreading illness. The spirits travel by riding the wind infiltrating homes through small openings created by the temperature differences between indoor and outdoor air. When encountering humans, they exhale humid, yellow breath that causes illness in those who inhale it. Additionally, Kazanokami possesses the ability to manipulate the wind's flow, making them a source of concern for workers like farmers and fishermen, whose livelihoods are heavily influenced by wind patterns. To appease these capricious entities, some communities even enshrine them as gods to avoid provoking their wrath. That's all for today, folks. Let me know in the comments below which one do you think is the most malevolent of them all. Thank you for listening, and as usual, have a nice nightmare.